what are the most common mistakes that people make when it's like whether it be prepping for the LSAT or the day of while they're taking it? Day of taking it, I'd say not knowing where your test center is, not allowing enough time to find the room. A lot of times uh, LSATs are offered on college campuses or law school campuses. And if you've never been there before, it can be kind of a big maze to find the right place. So wake up early, get there early. Don't bring your cell phone. The LSAT test makers do not allow you to bring your test cell phone to the test center. And obviously we're all attached to our phones these days. And you're like, well, how am I going to get home? How am I going to find an Uber? You know, it's tough. But you find a pay phone, borrow one from somebody. They have kicked people out for bringing their cell phones. And so definitely don't do that. Also try to avoid talking to other people at the test center because they can stress you out depending on, you never know what they're going to say. And so I kind of find my own corner to hide from them all and just kind of be on my own. And then other common mistakes, I'd say we covered a few of them already. One of them is not allowing enough time. And so two to three months, is typically not enough to achieve your fullest potential, allow longer. The other thing is using proper study materials, not using any old book you find in the bookstore. You know, Barron's, Kaplan, a lot of them are not using real LSAT questions. And then on Amazon, definitely be on the lookout for books with fake reviews. You want to make sure they're saying they use real LSAT problems if they do they'll say it on the cover. They'll say that because they want to brag about it because they're paying licensing fees to LSAC to use those questions. And so typically the lower end options won't want to pay that. And so they kind of kind of mask what they're really doing. They're using fake ones. And you also want to make sure that you're using re recent LSAT exams. Some of these books will use super old exams from like the early 90s and the exam has evolved over time. And so you're better off spending your time with the exams published in the last five, 10 years at least. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.